What's up, everybody? It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. Remember what I always say, keep the donations to yourself. It's hard out here. You don't got no time to be showing me you support me by sending me some money. You want to show me you rock with the videos, just hit the like button. I kind of want to jump right into it. You know, Dirk kind of responded again. Dirk been responding to these blog sites lately. Not diss records of people dissing him or people in interviews. He responding to blogs lately. He been responding to a lot of things that's involving his name in the streets. Seeing like Trenches News is a blog that he kind of responded to lately, you know, by seeing he got a beef with Lil Reese and Lanron. I actually reported on that too. Uh, a lot of people reported on that, but I guess this one went viral because it says that, uh, I guess, Dirk told somebody to pick a side and all this stuff here i guess allegedly uh you know trenches news kind of put that out you know he gets his information from certain people so he can post what he want to post now dirt and i guess dirt kind of responded to that put an end to say ain't no beef between you know uh lamron and reese he wasn't talking about them he said he was talking about a soul food spot then he also said he don't think about niggas you know, that kind of didn't put an end to the rumors. That didn't kind of end what people thought was just rumors, I guess. You know, by saying that, he didn't say, no, nah, ain't no beef with them brothers. I love them guys. I'm still my people. Or, you know, we just dissing right now. He didn't put an end to the rumors of a beef with Lil Reese. He said, I don't think about niggas. You know, and I think that is, you know, a telling tale sign. Now, don't get me wrong, Dirk ain't got the singer Kumbaya. But in my opinion, I don't still think he put the end of rumors that it's something going on with those guys. We seen internet videos, you know. It be like that. Now, as far as saying exactly what Dirk told someone, I can't probably tell you that. I can't get that close to the situation. But in my opinion, I feel like it might be some brewing there. Now, is it as big as everybody trying to portray it to be? I'm not sure. I think Dirk did put an end to some speculations. I do think everything he says is not meant to us 300. But I think since, you know, he kind of went viral by going on Poodle LaFleur Live and name dropping people in his songs. It got to the point now, Dirk can say, I'm tired of all these niggas. And people going to say, hey, he talking about dude now. So I, I get it, but you know, he kind of put himself in this predicament. When you get the money and you get the fame and you get the clout, it come with a lot of people want to know about you. And unfortunately, this the era of the blogs. And I think Dirk is showing the weakness now, you know. Dirk ain't took too many L's in this shit, but in my opinion, the internet is finally giving Dirk these L's. We didn't seem to respond to rumors about India, uh, responding to shit about Memo 600 and all kind of shit. So. You know, I don't know what to say. It is what it is, you know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Blech.